Okay, so um, the idea for this this conference really came from um, a lot of the discussions that we had um, in each of the different ES hackathons, uh, particularly where we started off in Stockholm, thinking about how we can get uh, evidence in this, this workflows better embedded into um, into R. And so the first step really was to think about what is there, what's what's available. This is, this is actually quite um, a tough thing to be able to do. <laughs> um, but luckily for meta-analysis at least, um, we can find the CRAN task view. <clears throat> and what that does, it, it points to um, packages that are, be, are, are described by the maintainers as, as meta-analysis packages. packages. Um, and there's about 150 packages on that CRAN task view. You can see that the number of packages is, is increased um, over time from Pioneer here, which is met, our meta, <coughs> so a very general um, package for doing meta analysis, all the way through to uh, the latest package on, on the list is, is um, NMA plot. So it's from very general, but also quite specific packages as well uh, that have been developed to help with meta analysis. Obviously, the, the number of downloads, um, there's lots of yeah, biases in these, but I wanted to find a way to really look at you know, are there any packages that are sort of um, rising above from what they what we'd expect by the relationship between the number of the years since the last release and the number of downloads. So some of them are, some, some are quite astounding outliers. So up there in the top left-hand corner, you've got effect size, that's a package that, that can um, ha has probably the widest level of widest uh, range of effect size calculations I've seen, yeah, both Bayesian and frequentist. Um, meta um, remains it is quite an important one. Um, it's used by by um, it allows the data format from Revman, so um, it's obviously quite important for systematic reviewers. <coughs> Meta BMA, another new, fairly relatively new one, um, but also highly downloaded. Uh, it looks at Bayesian model averaging for meta analysis. Yeah. So really, I mean, some of the some of these things I'm going to be saying in this talk it is about what is it that for you guys you think um, leads to a package being being highly downloaded and much used. <coughs> so how are they all related? So for this bit, we need to just come out of here. So, uh, come out here. It's a coffee mode. And then we can have a look here. So I took the, the CRAN task view, and I've looked at the uh, dependencies of the different packages that listed there. So the blue ones are the metaanalysis packages, and the yellow ones, or the gold ones, of what I've called sporting packages. So they're packages that like ggplot, for example, which is there, um, which underpin some of the functions that lie within uh, the meta packages. There's about 500 of those um, sporting packages. Um, and you can see that they're by their size is the number of, of links that, that go to other packages. <clears throat> From the meta analysis packages side, uh, not really surprising, but basically all roads lead to metaphor. So a lot of the functions that, that underpin other packages in, in uh, meta-analysis, uh, the meta-analysis packages are actually um, come from these metaphor packages. Metaphor itself is linked uh, to NLME. So metaphor is by the by far the largest um, contributor to other packages, meta-analysis packages. Um, and you can see that even where a package doesn't have a, uh, a direct connection, it's often connected through um, other packages as well. So Metaphor has really sort of um, facilitated a lot of the functions that, that are happening in these, these new um, R packages. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. Yeah, present. 
there so I can see what I'm sewing thing. Okay. So here uh, we looked at how they're related. <coughs> so what do these packages do? So as a first point of start, uh, we started to look at well their package descriptions. What is it they say they do? Most of these packages, um, so this is a plot of the, the words in the, in the descriptions and how they relate to each other. And the size of the arrow is related to the number of times that, that information is there. <coughs> a lot of these packages, about 42%, are dedicated to running bits analysis. Um, but these are for sort of different data types, so for survival data, for genetic data, uh, correlations, you name it, there's a, a different meta analysis package for it. 11% of these packages are, are to do with um, effect sizes. Converting effect sizes. Yeah. Show you my pointer. Um, and <coughs> um, so there's quite a few of those. Seven packages, seven percent of packages, sorry, are to do with sens sensitivity analysis. It's going right here. Um, and um, seven to plotting functions, mostly to do with funnel plots. But some a few other different plots. And 6% to uh, network meta analysis. So there's quite a few of those that are coming through. Uh, quite, quite high network meta analysis here. <coughs> so what's what's next? What I uh, these are sort of things really that. that um, more like discussion points, but, but um, and perhaps questions for you rather than, than things that I should be doing. But one thing I'd like to do is update the CRAN task view, but add in these non sort of non CRAN packages too. But I need to find a way to actually systematically find these packages. Um, I would like to be able to provide guidance to users on which package to go for. So if you if you have a specialist interest in in a certain area of meta analysis, or you have a generalist interest in meta analysis, where should you go? Which package should you go for? Over the next two days, I'd really like to start thinking, and for you to start thinking about identifying the gaps in the functions. So, what are we missing? What's what's not in these functions? Do we need two packages, or can we just sort of incorporate these 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 missing functions into existing ones? <coughs> Related to that, we need to identify functional redundancy. So, do we have a what do we have that we've got a lot of and don't need anymore? And I think effect size conversion function is probably one of those things. There's lots of them, and they're really good. In other packages, so we don't really need to, to reinvent them. <coughs> and finally, I'd like you to think about what makes a meta analysis or ecosystem evidence synthesis package usable. Is it the documentation? Uh, is it how versatile it is? How general it is? How specific it is? What makes a package useful for you? So, if you have some opinion on that, you'd like to stick some information in the, in the Slack for me, or you can uh, send me an email, whatever you like, uh, however you want to do it. Um, but I'm really just interested in, in your views on those things. So thank you very much and enjoy the conference.